Hello everyone, Joe Brady here, and I wanted to just do a really simple demonstration to show that you don't need to learn everything the softwares can do, but just to figure out how to turn an image that's kind of bland and turn it into something exciting. And we're just going to use the basic panel in Lightroom to do this. So open up the basic panel. This, this image, by the way, is, uh, that's Mount Moran. This is Jackson Lake and Grand Teton. So what are the problems? Let's look at the image first. Well, the shadows are too dark. Let's just cut to the chase and open the shadows all the way. I'm going to bring the highlights down a lot too. And even though they may not need it, what that does is it gives you a little more flexibility on the overall exposure. And we're going to come back to that. Let's do the other sliders first. Whites and blacks are fine. Presence is going to add different types of sharpening. Texture is very fine sharpening on fine details. So we'll add a little bit of that. I don't know how well you can see it on the video, but it really sharpens up the fine details. Clarity is called mid-tone contrast. It's going to get a little more in the middle. And if I take it crazy, you can see it starts to get kind of, kind of crunchy looking. So be careful with that one. Dehaze is going to darken and add a lot of a lower tone contrast. Um, that's a personal preference. Think of it as adding salt and pepper. Now, vibrance will increase the saturation of cool and desaturated colors. So if you have a really pale tan or blues and greens, they will get increased by the saturation slider. So let's bring that one up, and that helps a lot. And then the saturation slider itself will increase the saturation of everything. Now, as we've done this, the image is now a little bit dark, but remember we brought these highlights down so we could open things up. So let's just drag the slider over and oh, look how much more life there is now in this image. Now two more things compositionally. Even though this image may have been shot perfectly level, there's kind of a uh, optical illusion with this far bank on the lake that's making the image look slanted. It may not be, but should we correct it? Unless it's really bad, in some cases, I'd leave it alone. But in this case, it's going to be a distraction. And you can see from our grid that it's off here. Let's fix it. And here's a quick way to do it. Go up to the cropping tool, this thing right here. Click on the angle tool and bring it over down to the shoreline. And I'm going to click and drag across to that shoreline. And it's going to make that thing level. And it really does help the image. Hit enter. Even if it's slightly wrong, it's, it actually looks correct. Two more things. There's nothing going on in the sky. There's no clouds, and there's a lot of trees here. And if we want to focus a little more in the mountain, we need to do some cropping. So again, to the cropping tool. And I'm going to bring down from the top again because there's just no clouds going on. So we don't need that much blue sky. And now because all of the 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 trees and the shrubs in the front are more powerful than the mountain. Let's bring it up from the bottom a bit. We'll kind of give it a little more of a panoramic feel. You still get the, the idea of the trees there, but let's minimize them a bit. And I think I'll bring the whole thing up or down a little bit. Now, do I need this much on the right? Maybe a little less. Same thing on the left. Actually, I, for some reason, I like the left, so we're going to leave that. And then one last thing that I do with most of my images, and that is add a vignette. So we come down to effects in the develop module. My favorite number is minus 12. And the cool thing is 13 is close enough. It was When you do it, you don't really see anything happen. But if I click on the eyeball here, you get to see there's the vignette. And what the vignette's doing is it's recentering you in the image. It's kind of giving a subliminal way to, to keep you from leaving. One last thing, as I look at this, the color of the water and the sky seems to be slightly off. I didn't want to go into this tool, but I got to show it to you. This is one of the new tools in the latest version of Lightroom. It's under Color Mixer, and it's this thing called the Point Color Tool. And you click on the eyedropper, and I'm going to come up into the sky. And I find a lot of edits. I like the sky to, to have the hue shifted over just a little bit to the right. And you can click on the slider here and push it over and look what happens. I think it looks more natural. And as it does that, it's lost some saturation. So let's add some saturation as well. Yeah, Got to be careful with it, but that looks pretty good. So let's compare that quickly, what we started with and what we ended up with. Here's the original raw file out of the camera. And just with that little quick edit, 
we turned that into that. A lot more power, now the mountain is more dominant, and we have a really pretty scene. So you don't have to do extreme things to really add a lot of impact to your images. Get the basics covered, and you can learn how fine tuning can further enhance a little bit later on. That's it for today. I wanted to keep it simple. Thank you for joining me. Have yourself a great week. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.